This is the first interview you've given since this all blew up. So let's just cut to the quick here. Uh, Rishi Sunak. When there's Trump arraigned for hiding and there's Boris done for lies. When there's no more use deciding if Prigozhin lives or dies. When the speech we wish that Rishi gives was more than where's and why's. Nadine applauds the House of Lords. She gets votes from perfect strangers, it's a danger but it's law. She gets plaudits from Piers Morgan, entertaining but a bore. She's rejected her electors, but she's pausing at the door. What does she want? She wants much more. Nadine's not distracted by the DCMS, nor is she the minister who protractedly sighs for Boris. Nadine squeezes out the blame. Rishi is his name. Nadine never had a claim to be anything but a shame. Believing Boris wants delivered Brexit banqueting and booze. Receiving gifts of lady making from the king of kangaroos. Who's still accused of lockdown breaking, which she chooses to excuse. What is the news? Nadine feels bruised. She feels that because she was brought up in a street in Liverpool. She should, for some unimaginable reason, be above simple ridicule. Nadu says it's all a game. Rishi is to blame. Posh sophistic, she exclaims, that her world has become a shame. A lord and lady, she ain't. Shameless working minister she ain't. Shameless ain't no restraint. Shameless drink no constraint. Shameless infamous pretties a dame. Shameless and Reese Mogg let's proclaim. Shameless there's hundreds of people deserving of more. Ignored by the lady who wants an encore. The dean's just like quasi the package restoring such shame.